liniște. When Americans will think it's peace and quiet. Și stăpânesc tot pământul. And they rule the world. Atunci de fie ocean. Then from the oceans. Din Cuba. Out of Cuba. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. America Central. Central America. Mexico. Mexico. Va bombarda depozitul de nuclear american. They will bombard the nuclear plants in America. Și America va lua foc. And America will burn. From the land down under, with the rock at its center, comes the little Aussie watchman. Antifa and the prophecies of Dimitri Dudeman. Any time I see the periodic looting, burning and destruction of American cities, I'm reminded of the 25 to 30 year old series of prophecies given by the now deceased Romanian pastor and prophet Dimitri Dudeman. The way Dimitri spoke, it was as if the culmination of his prophecies would be in that season, but they weren't. And are they true? I don't know, but they are certainly interesting and worth pondering in the current political climate. These prophecies were well known, and his story of escape from communist Romania is legitimate. His ministry has continued through his grandson Michael Baldeo, who was nine years old when they escaped Romania, through the organisation Hand of Help ministries. So why Antifa? And why now? Dimitri is best known for his prophecies that claim Russia and China will preemptively attack America. And one of the warning signs included an internal revolution in America started by the communists. Some of the people will start fighting against the government, he said. There is not much doubt that Antifa is the primary organizing force behind the current riots across America. They have hijacked natural anger against the unjust killing of a black man by a police officer and have used it to light political fires across the nation. They provide support, backup, finance and weapons to the violent mobs. Their operations are obfuscated by some Democrat politicians and downplayed by the media. Some of the media even have gone as far as to inflame and excuse the violent civil unrest. And Antifa is a left-wing Marxist organization, as close to communist as one is going to get. I'm going to paraphrase and editorialize somewhat some of these prophets. Here we go. He said, This is America. It will burn. This is California and Las Vegas. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. In one day, it will burn. This is New York City. This is Florida. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. In one day, it will burn. It will start with the world calling for peace. Then the civil unrest. It will start as heavy rain on a sunny day at a time it is least expected. The government will be busy with internal problems. Then Russia, Cuba, Mexico, Nicaragua, Mexico and others will attack from the ocean. The Russians will bomb the hidden nuclear missile silos in the US. For the Russians had made plans with the Chinese asking them to take Taiwan first. As Americans go to war against China, Russia will attack Alaska, Minnesota and Florida. Dimitri is now dead and this prophecy also is pretty much dead with only a few people remembering it. Whether it is true or not is something I cannot say. What I can say is that the precursors of communists starting an internal revolution is currently happening. The precursor of heavy rain coming on a sunny day also seems rather prescient as America's economy was just humming along prior to the sudden COVID pandemic, followed now by these crazy riots. Personally, it is hard to believe that Russia hates America so much as to risk a war that would lead to mutual destruction, especially given that in the last four years America has pretty much had a hands-off approach to what Russia does in its own region. I guess... The final precursor of the prophecy that China will try and take down Taiwan will be even more worrying. Let us hope this is not a true prophecy, or in fact there has been enough repentant prayer to delay or even stop the prophecy from happening. As I have verbalized before, there have been a number of prophets claiming Trump will serve out two terms, and this would contradict the interpretation that these current protests are a fulfillment of this prophecy from the late great Dimitri Dudeman. My personal feeling is that this is not the time, if indeed the prophecy is true.